You know, I did the trick. Maybe it will be helpful for you. I don't know. Uh, when I tried to train one guy who he had very slow, he had very slow processing. Some people do it quickly, some slowly. So he was very slow. So I tried to develop some exercises for him, just for memory. And I decided to focus. I decided to focus more on the shapes though i'm not a big fan of shape approach in general it's better to know the notes but guitarish is the instrument or the shape so look here so we have basically for example for here right those are g, g major triad inversions if you take it here And here, uh, for, to make it a complete picture, right? And the last one, over here. Not so many, actually, nine, only nine. And uh, what we practiced is major, minor, diminished, and augmented. Uh, so not so many, and, and, and don't practice a lot at a time. It's 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 not it's not that important then if we if we do non-contextual exercise i try to force him to memorize the shape i used to tell him the root so he had for example we take six string or any string the root the root the root the fifth so he had to make the fifth okay the fifth it means the note in the bass so that he clearly he would clearly associate the shape with particular um, bass note and with the uh, quality of uh, the triad, if it's major or minor or something else. Okay, so um, we focused first on major, then on minor, then on diminished, and so on. Another another thing is, I think I saw that exercise on the forum. It was from uh, originally it came, I believe, from like a Lund. The idea is that you take this. It can it, it can be practiced with any kind of triad, with arpeggios or closed triads, or whatever. See, it's the root. Then you go chromatically up, and that's going to be the fee, uh, third. Then you go chromatically up. It's going to be the fifth. Then again, the root, the third, the fifth. And you try to pronounce the chords you play. So it's G major, and it's this the third of E major. That's the fifth of sorry, the third of E major. That's the fifth of uh, D major, and so on, so on, so on. It's root of B flat major. Uh, the same thing on other strings. Then there is nice ways to practice when you play parallel triads. Uh, triad pairs, so-called triad pairs. It's also a nice way to practice. Uh, well, when when you play, for example, G major, then the closest to it F major, then again D major, then closest to F major. Then in in this, some, sometimes they are parallel, but in this connection they are not. Yeah, it's and it sounds nice actually. And there are lots of combinations. You just choose one and uh, try to to explore it. There is also interesting uh, thing about uh, open triads is when you make a drop drop bass. So, uh, for example, this is F diminished triad, but I drop bass, right? Or this is G major triad, and I drop bass. It seems easy. But we do not often use it. It's it's quite interesting thing. As for like that, for example, we, let's take an inversion of it. Yeah, inversion, and then it's not that often that people use it, and, and uh, not that often that they practice it as a separate sound. I mean, not as a chord. Yeah, right. I like it actually. 
Well, uh, so these things do quite a lot of options. Hope it, hope it helps.